Shop Floor Machining is an app on the 3D Experience platform that lets you program CNC mills up to 3 plus 2 axis. From the 2025 release, it is included with all 3D Experience SolidWorks and SolidWorks with cloud services subscriptions. Let's take a look at how Shop Floor Machining connected to 3D Experience and SolidWorks can help users get parts quoted, programmed and out the door as fast as possible. This is Sam. He runs a machine shop with a few different CNC machines. He works very closely with his CNC programmer and operator. Making sure there is open communication throughout his entire team is key. Sam's shop has a couple of solid work seats for designing fixtures and doing some outside design work. Because of his SolidWorks subscription, he is able to utilize 3D Experience cloud services which now includes shop floor machining to program all of his machines. Sam was sent a file for quoting, and the first thing Sam does is open the part in SolidWorks. One huge benefit for Sam is being able to save parts from SolidWorks directly into the 3D Experience platform. If the model changes, an easy save to 3D Experience updates the model wherever it is being used. Although the part looks simple, Sam wants to make sure there won't be any surprises. In shop floor machining, he is able to use a manufacturability check to run a quick test of the geometry against the kinematics of his machines. With manufacturability check, users create real life machining scenarios for each machine in their shop. Each machine has its own set of parameters based on its actual capabilities. Different parameters can be set such as maximum part size, minimum hole diameter and maximum hole depth. The results are displayed in an easy to read tree. The manufacturability checker will also test for part viability for 3D printing. Once Sam has an idea about what it will take to machine the part, he sends off a quote. Once he wins the job, the real work starts. He hands the part off to his programmer, Paul. Because the part is already in 3D experience, there is no translation or importing. He can simply open the part in shop floor machining and start programming. Let's take a look at how easy it is to program this part. Shop Floor Machining comes with an easy to follow startup wizard that can help new users get up and programming quickly. The wizard walks users through the basic steps of part programming all the way to generating G-code. Paul starts the programming by selecting the machine he will be running the part on. Shop Floor Machining gives you the option to create a CAM environment that is specific to your needs. More complex machines and operations may need a full virtual twin, which could include a machine model, tool holders, fixtures, or vices. On a part like this, the chance of collisions between the tool and the machine is minimal. So he just defines the post processor. The next step is filling the machining cell. As Sam uploaded the part already, we just have to search for the part name. A manufacturing cell can contain many items such as machine models, robotics, fixtures, tooling and other things that aid in the production of the part. This cell will contain the machine definition, tooling, the part and the stock. Placing a part into a cell or on a machine is as easy as search and click. Now he needs to finish defining the manufacturing cell by loading up the tools. In this example, Paul creates the cutting tool with no holder. This is a quick and easy way to get tooling onto the machine, only sacrificing accurate virtual representation. Editing and saving tooling is easy. Parameters can be changed by double-clicking them on the screen or by opening up the parameters window for more settings. 
tools that are created in 3D Experience are stored for reuse in any other programs. Or, there are complete tooling libraries available for use. All of the parts are loaded in our manufacturing cell. So now he defines the operation, starting with the stock. First, a bounding box for the stock needs to be defined. This is as easy as just selecting the geometry. By default, shop floor machining creates a bounding box for the volume in X, Y and Z of the part. Then, he opens the operation that shop floor machining has already created. Here, the home position is created by defining the position and the direction of our home coordinate system. The manufacturing cell now has everything it needs to machine this part and it is saved ready for reuse. So now it's time to create the program. For the large pocket, Paul needs to define a simple pocketing routine. All toolpath parameters are easily accessed inside a single window for easy navigation. He has a toolpath on the part, so he just needs to fine tune it. The operations parameter window contains all of the specific settings for the toolpath. For instance, here he is adjusting the amount of passes the toolpath will take in Z, and then add in some customizable lead ins and lead outs. Redundant work is one of the major obstacles that programmers face with most CAM systems. One way shop floor machining eliminates this is by letting you save operations for reuse which is just a matter of copy and paste. Select the toolpath to copy, paste it in the appropriate operation and give it a new name. Then redefine the geometry and make any other adjustments needed. Another way shop floor programming cuts down on tedious tasks is automatic hole finder. Automatic hole search is a powerful way to automatically interrogate a part and find all of its hole features. It takes away the tedious task of selecting individual holes. Defining drilling and tapping routines can be very time consuming, especially if there are a lot of hole features within the part. Here, drilling operations are made easy by predefining features and setting parameters in familiar parameters windows. Because we used automatic hole finder already, he just needs to select the pattern of holes and set the parameters. Once set, just hit display to see the toolpath. Paul takes one final look at the toolpath simulation before post-processing it and sending it to the shop. Shop floor machining uses a virtual twin environment which means that the animations on the screen are driven by real-world parameters. Once simulated, creating code is just a button-click away. The G-code is stored inside the machine in cell, so you always know the code is the most current. Now that the code is created, it needs to be sent to the shop for manufacturing. Paul saves the code and tags Oscar, who will get a notification in 3D Experience to let him know that the part is ready. Sam, Paul and Oscar depend on accurate, real-time data to keep their shop up and running. Through 3D Experience Cloud Services and SolidWorks, the whole team has access to the data they need to work on accurately and efficiently.